He is known for his studies in composition with notable figures such as Philippe Captainat and Yoshihisa Tera. He has made significant contributions to the field through his work in theatrical music and his involvement with the Gothenburg Music and Dance Company. His name is Mansour Hosseini. In the world of music, one name stands out for his innovative compositions and dedication to pushing boundaries, Mansour Hosseini. Born in Gothenburg, Sweden, Hosseini embarked on a journey of musical exploration that would shape his career. He studied composition under the guidance of renowned teachers such as Philippe Captainat and Yoshihisa Tera in Paris, expanding his knowledge and honing his craft. Throughout his studies, Hosseini delved into various musical realms, including music theory and computer music with Peter Swinnen at the Royal Conservatory of Brussels, and composition with Carl Axel Hall at the Musikhochschulen of Gothenburg. He even ventured into the world of film scoring at the University of Gothenburg, further expanding his creative horizons. Inspired by the likes of Mauricio Kegel, Hosseini set out to create theatrical music that blended elements of modern dance, theater, and martial arts. In 2003, he founded the Gothenburg Music and Dance Company, which later transformed into the ensemble Themis in Gothenburg. This innovative ensemble aimed to popularize the concept of theatrical music by allowing actors and musicians to interchange their roles, creating a unique and immersive experience for audiences. Hosseini's passion for improvisation shines through in his compositions, as he often incorporates sections that allow musicians to express themselves through controlled and measured improvisation. Not only a composer, but also a performer, Hosseini has shared his expertise as a lecturer, teaching musicians about musical notation, composition, and the communication between musicians and composers. His groundbreaking work did not go unnoticed, as Hosseini received prestigious awards, including the Culture Prizes of Gothenburg and the Vastra Gotteland. Mansur Hosseini's journey is a testament to his unwavering commitment to pushing the boundaries of music and creating unique experiences that blend different art forms seamlessly. His contributions to the field of music will continue to inspire and captivate audiences for generations to come. In 1998, Mansur Hosseini composed his duo, Bones, for Piano and Cello, a captivating piece that showcased a thrilling race between the two instruments. The piano produced, Buddhistic cluster sounds, while the cello contributed with its roaring three notes. These contrasting elements merged together like a mesmerizing dream sequence, captivating listeners with their ethereal beauty. Fast forward to 2011, and Hosseini's string quartet, Svan II, made its debut at the Sibelius Museum in Turku, during the town's tenure as a European capital of culture. The quartet mesmerized the audience with its intricate melodies and harmonies, showcasing Hosseini's mastery of composition. Each instrument played a vital role in creating a harmonious and captivating musical experience. One of Hosseini's most notable compositions is, Bright Blue Bird, in a gray-red sky, for violin and orchestra. This piece premiered in 2014 at the Allerheiligen Hofkirch in Munich, with the Nymphenberger Kammerorchester, led by conductor Manuel Nori, and violinist Henja Semler taking center stage. Inspired by a Persian legend about the mythical bird Simurgh, the composition tells the story of a thousand birds embarking on a journey to find the bird's feather. However, only 30 of them successfully reach their destination, a lake that reflects their image. Hosseini's compositions showcase his unique ability to intertwine different musical elements and narratives, creating evocative and thought-provoking experiences for listeners. His innovative use of instruments and deep understanding of music theory elevate his works to new heights, leaving a lasting impression on all who have the opportunity to hear them. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.